Earlier, I learned that Brazil nuts grow completely wild across the Amazon. There they are! I've also discovered that the roots of these trees can absorb radioactive material. It sounds pretty dangerous, so I've asked Matt back in the UK to do some digging. But I want to find out how Brazil nuts are prepped for our supermarket shelves. I'm in Puerto Maldonado, visiting a Brazil nut cooperative. Hello! Kate! Wait. Wilma is the manager here. She runs one of the biggest factories in the area. So it is an army that get your nuts out of their shells, but it's not Gooties, it's people. It's uno a uno. Oh. Sí. Every single nut is shelled by hand, using levered weights. It's delicate, precise work. Isidro is the most experienced nutcracker on the team. Él trabaja desde las 4 de la mañana hasta las 7 de la noche. Quiere ganar algo más. Brazil nuts are an important part of the local economy. These workers earn the equivalent of 40p per kilo. Isidro can get through as many as 10,000 nuts in a shift, which earns him a wage of around 10 pounds a day. I'm amazed that such a seemingly simple job is being done by hand. Hola! Hey! Perhaps Freddie, the quality control manager, can explain why. Is there any way of shelling Brazil nuts mechanically? Sí, hay, pero el problema es que sale más castaña de tercera, que significa más del 50% de trozo. And us Brits like our Brazil nuts whole. Next, the moisture is removed to stop mold developing. Gosh, that's hot! Hot nuts! And finally, these nuts are ready to be exported to supermarkets around the world. All the work it takes in the rainforest with all the environmental factors in order to produce this, for me, these are the caviar of the rainforest. So Brazil nuts grow wild in the jungle, but could they be radioactive? To find out, I've pulled in a favour. So I had a phone call from Kate the other day, who was in Peru, uh, who wanted me to come to Didcot in Britain to find out whether these Brazil nuts that she's looking at in Peru are radioactive. I'm in Didcot. I've come to the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory, a cutting edge facility that's home to some of the UK's most advanced scientific research projects. Hi, Susie. Hi. Nice to meet Hi, you. Matt. So um, I've come to ask you how dangerous my nuts are. Dr. Susie Sheehy is a physicist and researcher at Oxford University. She's been testing the radiation levels in all types of food and the impact it has on our bodies. So how radioactive are my nuts? Now, if you listen carefully, you will hear a couple of clicks. Brazil nuts actually do give off radiation, so they could be, be harmful. harmful to your health. OK. But the level that it gives off is very, very low. So, Like a, an X-ray or...? Yeah, for example, so... A small nuclear if you explosion. Ate, that's, that's, about <laughs> that's about 100 grams of Brazil nuts, right? Right. So the amount of radiation dose you'd receive from those is about the same as having a chest X-ray. Really? Yeah. You'd have to eat 25,000 Brazil nuts in okay. one sitting in order to have any ill of health effect from the radiation. So we're quite safe to carry on eating um, Brazil nuts, albeit in small quantities. From the radiation, I think you can eat as many of them as you could stomach. 